Hi, I'm Finn Peacock. How to choose a good solar inverter? That is an absolutely critical question because I would argue that the solar inverter is the most critical component in your solar system. Why? Well, one, all the power goes through it. So if the solar inverter goes down, then your solar system goes down. Um, another thing, because all the power goes through it, the efficiency of the solar inverter um, will directly affect the efficiency of the solar system as a whole. And thirdly, the solar inverter is the most likely component to fail early in a solar system, even a good one. So it's absolutely critical that you don't skimp on this component. And if you can afford to upgrade any component in the system before you buy, upgrade the inverter to a quality one. I, think, I really think it'll be worth it over the next 20 years that you have the solar system. Now, the two most critical uh, factors when choosing a solar inverter are number one, reliability, and then number two, efficiency. I would even go so far as to say it's worth taking a small hit on the efficiency if you have to, to get a highly reliable inverter. Now, of course, you can get super efficient, super reliable inverters, um, SMAs, some of the good SMAs for a start, but you will pay more for those, okay? So if you have to, you know, if you're on a budget and you have to take a trade-off, Take a small efficiency hit before you take a reliability hit on the inverter. You don't want the inverter to fail, trust me. Now, the other big debate in the solar industry is Chinese inverters versus European inverters. And you definitely get two camps here. You get the guys that say, oh, well, Chinese inverters are crap. And then you get the guys that say, no, Chinese inverters are actually better than the European ones. Well, I personally think that the European inverters are a little bit better than the Chinese inverters, just. Um, China will probably catch up with Europe soon because um, the Chinese, they've learned fast. Five years ago, the Chinese inverters were pretty crap. I wouldn't get one. Today, 2012, I'd be happy with a good Chinese inverter. Although, if I was spending my money, I'd pay a bit more and go European just because they've been making them for longer. Um, you know, they've been in business 25, 30 years. They've ironed out all the reliability issues in a modern inverter, the European guys. They've absolutely nailed it. So it, it's a lower risk. Um, I think it's a slightly better quality um, inverter if you go for a European one, but the Chinese ones are good. Let's talk about some brands, good European brands. There's a big daddy of the inverters, that's SMA, giant German company, biggest inverter manufacturer in the world. You can't go wrong with an SMA inverter generally, but they are the most expensive, horses for courses, right? Um, slightly cheaper, also out of Europe, is Power One Aurora. Those guys are Italian. Um, and they make, they make great inverters. Um, the other European brand is Xantrex. Um, I think all those inverters are now made in the Far East, but they've got great quality control and I've never seen a bad Xantrex inverter and that's Xantrex with an X. Good Chinese brands, um, you've got three that stand out really, that are pretty low risk. You've got Samuel Power, you've got GrowWatt, who had a few reliability issues maybe three years ago, but they seem to have fixed them all, they seem to have nailed them and you've got Eversolar are making some really good inverters these days. There's probably some other good Chinese brands that I'm not across, and if that's the case, give us a shout, let me know, and I'll add them to the list down there of inver good inverters that you know are pretty low risk that you can trust. But you know, at the end of the day, why go with a brand that's unheard of that you can't get third-party information on? It's just, there's plenty of good inverters out there. Just go with a good brand. It's worth it, trust me. Even if you've got to pay an extra couple of hundred dollars. The other thing you should know is get a 10-year warranty on your inverter. That's critical. Um, the standard is five years. You can usually get a 10-year if you push for it or you pay an extra hundred dollars or so. It's worth it because like I said, if anything will fail in your solar system, if it's a well-installed solar system, it will be the inverter. It's just the nature of the beast. Finally, let's talk about inverter sizing. Um, don't get an oversized inverter. It's a waste of time, a waste of money, unless you're going to expand your solar system in the next 12 months you're probably just gonna spend more money than you have to. Um, there's companies out there selling five kilowatt inverters with 1.5 kilowatts of solar panels. Um, they say, oh, you can upgrade your system in the future. Yeah, but if you upgrade your system in three years, the chances of you still being able to buy the same solar panel are almost none, the technology's changing so fast. I'm getting calls from people who bought a system two years ago, big inverter, back then 165 watt solar panels with a go, Try and find a 165 watt solar panel in 2012. <laughs> Good luck. If you do find them, you'll pay a fortune for them. 
So they're really struggling to upgrade their solar system. It's working out cheaper to just get a new solar system. So don't get an oversized uh, inverter. It's just a marketing ploy. Um, yeah, don't do it. It is actually okay to get a smaller inverter than your panel array. Uh, not a lot of people know this. Um, you can, it's in the standards, um, it's in the guidelines. You can oversize your panel array to your inverter by up to 15%. And that's because you get inherent losses in the solar panels, which means that you're unlikely to ever get more than 80% of the rated power out of your array. So basically what I'm saying is, for example, if you've got two kilowatts of panels and um, the installer specifies a 1.8 kilowatt inverter, don't stress, he's not ripping you off. It's just kind of good, efficient design. Um, the inverter in that case is 10% smaller than the panel array, which is well within the safety margin of 15%. Um, and it's just a good economical way to size your system um, and you're not going to be losing out. So that's everything I think you need to know about inverters to make an informed decision on your solar system. Um, it's absolutely critical. Please don't skimp on the quality. If you can afford a few extra hundred dollars, upgrade the inverter, upgrade the inverter warranty. Um, Chinese inverters are fine. Um, if you can afford it, European inverters are probably a little lower risk. Um, Efficiency is very important, but reliability is more important. So, good luck buying your solar system. Don't skimp on the quality of the inverter.